just so you know how crazy life has been i haven't watched the final season of insecure things have been hectic okay <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ifeyama and welcome back to my channel. Where do I even start from? Okay, I'm just gonna fill you guys in on what's been going on with me, why I haven't been on YouTube in about half a year. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say hi, basically. <laughs> so, hi. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, my name is Ifeyama. I am a Nigerian blogger. I live in London and I make videos on anything from uh, gosh, I don't even know. It's been such a long time. But if you are a returning subscriber, hello, I've missed you. <laughs> and um, let's just jump into the video because this intro is already feeling very, very waffly. This is my third coffee of the day. It's been a very long day. I feel so out of practice. Is this thing even recording? Okay, good. <laughs> so it's been about six months since my last upload. I think my last upload was my hallway transformation. I just started lifing and one thing led to another and there was just a lot going on if you follow me on instagram i highly suggest following me on instagram not because like i'm trying to get my followers up or anything but mainly because i'm a lot more regular on instagram especially on stories i'm on stories pretty much maybe five days out of the week around that time on my hallway transformation i had my family come in and visit me if you guys know my family lives in nigeria and when they're around i just want to spend time with them and i had planned to pre-record and upload videos in advance before they got here and it just did not work out and i actually ended up breaking my toe while my family was here and that was kind of like the one thing that just kind of led everything down a really random um Tandem. I stopped going to the gym, I stopped recording YouTube videos, I stopped uploading on social media. I was spending time with my family and they were here for like a month and it was great. London was just starting to open up around that time as well. So you could finally socialize with your friends, go out to restaurants, and that was something that I really heavily prioritized. Even though I only upload once a week on YouTube, it does take a lot of my mental time, um, a lot of my free time. I just really wanted to focus on being present and out in the real world as opposed to being in my room editing videos in my spare time. So shortly after summer, my husband and I started having a conversation about planning our wedding again because things were starting to open up. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that my wedding was originally, originally meant to happen in April of 2020 but um, because of you know what, <laughs> it didn't happen. And this was actually our third or fourth time attempting to plan our wedding, so I honestly was mentally over it at this point. But um, it was something that was really important to my mom and my husband. We decided to go full guns blazing, is that the right expression, into wedding planning. And again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen everything that happened. I have documented the entire day, at least from my perspective, on my Instagram. I have a highlight that's called 201121. So if you are interested, go see that. But if you do want to see a video about maybe my planning experience or um, advice that I have for people planning weddings in Nigeria, especially planning weddings in Nigeria from outside of Nigeria. Uh, I could definitely make a video on that and like my vendors that I use and my experience. Like I think something like that would actually be useful. So if you want um, a wedding video on something like that, definitely let me know. Definitely leave your questions below. And if I get enough interest, I can definitely make a video on that. So from summer to November, it was full on wedding planning. I was juggling that with juggling my job, with juggling all my other commitments. So it was just a lot. Yeah, and then after the wedding, obviously that was end of November, about a week after that, I actually had a loss in my family. My aunt passed away. Um, that was very shocking and still very difficult. I don't think I've fully processed that to be honest. And then right after that, my family came over uh, for her funeral slash uh, Christmas. And then again, you know, I was back in family mode. <laughs> and then right after Christmas, um, my husband and I actually went to Mexico for our delayed honeymoon slash birthday trip. And um, yeah, we were in Mexico for the first two weeks of January and I'm filming this 
fresh off my chip, hence my third cup of coffee. I'm really tired, but I told myself that I was going to film a video as soon as I got back to London because I really have missed being on YouTube. I had no intention to be away for this long, but it's just been boom, 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 boom. Life's been throwing one thing at a time at me and I'm not the best at juggling multiple high priority things. I hope this helps to kind of give you some context. I don't want anyone to think that I've kind of taken this channel for granted. Just so you know how crazy life has been, I haven't watched the final season of Insecure. So that in itself should tell you guys that I, I've, things have been hectic, okay? <laughs> Coffee. I made a video on this last year about New Year's resolutions and like the pressure that comes with New Year's resolutions. I don't believe in New Year's resolutions anymore. I do believe in goals. Another thing I really want to prioritize this year though beyond like fitness is just mental and physical health. I've been thinking a lot about starting therapy this year. I do think that personally I probably have a lot of baggage that it would be helpful to unpack with an expert just to find out more about who I am and why I do certain things that I do. I don't know how much I'm going to get into this, but I I feel like I could benefit from it personally. My friends and my loved ones around me could probably also benefit from me being the best version of myself that I can be. So I'm thinking a lot about that, but um, what I think I might tackle more in, in, in the more immediate future is my physical health. So like my knees have been aching for months. <laughs> I think it all kind of started with me like getting heavy back into the gym and then maybe my form not being what it needed to be and yeah my knees have been aching a lot so I've kind of been just waiting for them to stop aching and it's been a few months now and it's not really getting any better so I've told myself that I'm going to book a checkup with a physiotherapist or whoever is the right person to see just to make sure everything's okay and I really wanted this to be my reminder to anyone watching this video if you have any health concerns go get them checked out, even if they seem really small and minuscule. I really wanted to mention that specifically in this video because I think we, especially as women, tend to just put ourselves on the bottom of our list of priorities and we don't prioritize our own health. Uh, what else have I got in terms of 2022 goals? Travel plans. So this year has already started off by the grace of God well okay i went to mexico i've never been to mexico loved mexico again i have a highlight on my instagram if you want to find out about my trip oh gosh it's just reignited this travel bug i've always been someone that loves to travel and obviously the past two years there hasn't really been much of an opportunity to travel so i'm hoping to go to france for the first time i've never been to france i'm hoping to go to greece this year um, if I can get anywhere else in Europe, great, but those would be my top two that I really, really want to go to. Spain is also very up there because I've never been to Spain. I'm hoping to go to Spain with my brother, but we'll see how that goes. Another priority for me, obviously, is YouTube. YouTube is always a priority for me. I feel like last year I started to see like momentum with the growth in my channel. I hit a thousand subscribers, I think, in 2020 and um, I think by 2021, I was on like four point something. So that's great. Obviously it's not the fastest growth that I've seen on YouTube. And I'm not going to lie, that does really discourage me at times, but I'm probably to blame for that because I'm not the most consistent. I know people on YouTube that are uploading three times a week and they have a full-time job and they have three children and a husband and uh, a side business, you know, and they manage to make it work. I don't know how for the life of me, but I do think that I need to find the kind of content that I can create quite easily almost just so that I'm able to be more consistent. And I also think that the schedule of like every Sunday at 6 p.m. was also causing a lot of pressure. <laughs> So I, I really don't know what the best way around that is going to be, but um, I will say that if you like my videos and you like my personality, please put on your post notifications. That way when I do upload, I think YouTube will send you like a message or something just saying that I've uploaded a video. And then I'll also be promoting my 
video uploads on my Instagram. So if you have Instagram, another reason to follow me, just so you don't miss anything. My last two updates have to do with physical changes. You probably might notice like, oh, what's, what's going on with her hair? If you can see, I actually got microlocks installed. So <laughs> that was one thing that I've been waiting to do for the past two years. I'm going to make a completely other video about what my installation was like, what my first retie was like, what traveling on holiday with my locks were like, and generally what they've been like. Spoiler alert, I've been loving them. They're so, so easy. And my last physical update for you guys is all about my teeth. I actually had two refinements. So I think the last time I left you, I had one refinement and I'm currently on my second refinement. I've just finished my second refinement trays, not because they took this long. I actually think I got nine trays in my second refinement, so it should have been like maybe seven weeks of refinements. So I'm finally on my final tray of refinements, and this week I am going to be contacting my orthodontist about booking in my retainer fitting, and hopefully by then I will be all done. I will do a separate video where I show you what my teeth look like. It stopped recording. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, I am definitely going to be filming a final Invisalign update for you guys. So once I have my retainers fit and everything, I will film that for you. Okay, so that's everything. I'm about to film two more videos for you guys. I'm going to be filming a Microlox video and I'm going to be filming a Louis Vuitton SLG unboxing slash review of three things that I've actually got recently from Louis Vuitton. I will try to upload them on Sunday at 6 p.m. but don't hold me to it. If it's not 6 p.m. it might be 7, it might be 8, it might be earlier but I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, I think it's safe to say you don't hate me, so consider subscribing to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys on my next upload. Bye. <laughs>